Good day, everyone. I am releasing a planet course on this channel. So not just a single tutorial, but an entire course dedicated to creating planet renders and more generally just atmospheric environments as a whole. And I'm extremely excited to share some of the techniques. We will be walking through how I created renders uh, such as this one and how you can do that too. And it's not actually that scary. So why am I creating more planet content when I already have uh, quite a bit of it already. So the primary reason is that the ethos of this course is accessibility and longevity. So that means that I am focusing a lot on making sure that not only is the presentation reasonable for people of all skill levels to understand, particularly around the first few chapters, which are a little bit more beginner focus, but also that everyone will be able to take something away from this all the way from beginner level to expert. The longevity component means that I want this to be equally relevant in 2030 and beyond as it is today. So all the techniques I put a lot of thought into refining into the most useful components that will stand hopefully the test of time. And also, since I last released a planet tutorial, I have become fairly well known as the cloud guy in the Blender community, as that has been my highest performing content. And we'll be adapting this to create larger cloudscapes by using satellite data to simulate cloud fields. And these are extremely exciting because they just look so cool and they are usable way beyond just like the context of planetary rendering. Uh, and this is why I consider this also just a more general atmospherics course. So if you want to do something like a plane flying shot, this would be great for that. And I want to explore that a little bit further in the actual course itself. We also want to expand on the texture based approaches to clouds because even though they are a little bit less ubiquitous in these techniques that I will be presenting, they're still extremely important for picking up areas which the VDB approach will show weakness, uh, VDB meaning simulated clouds. So for instance, this is a render where I'm using both the VDB technique and also texturing to create these clouds where these clouds right here, this is just a single VDB. These are also VDBs down here, but these larger cloud structures are created with regular textures and cloud uh, textures that we will be creating ourselves from satellite data. And these things are super high res, super cool. Extremely excited to get into that as well. So let's briefly go over the lesson plan. So I mentioned before that this was intended to be as widely accessible as possible. And that means for people of all skill levels from beginner to expert. So we're going to start simple where anyone can follow, which is just a basic wide planet shot. The planet will sort of fill up the frame, but you don't need to get crazy absurd detail on the structure of the clouds. And this project is already out. So you can check out the video in the description below, or I'll post it in the uh, end title screen. You can watch that right now. It's pretty good. And just a little sneak peek, this is what we end up creating. And we get, so yeah, we get pretty close. And then the rest of these will be released in the coming weeks as I finish them. Uh, anyways, moving on. Project number two will be a simple-ish low orbit shot. So this is the point at which we need to focus a lot more on the 3D structure of the clouds. So that's where we're getting into cloud layering and stuff and more detailed cloud maps that we will be building ourselves. And then project number three, this is the final project. This is easily the most advanced one, but it's also the most rewarding one. We will be creating something very similar to what we have here. The specific reference that I want to Emily, em emulate is this one right here which is just a lovely foggy morning shot from orbit and then i also want to make some bonus content but i'm not sure exactly what to do yet so i want your ideas in the comments what would you like to see and 
I will try to get that out after we're done with the main three projects. So, thank you very much for tuning in. You can find the first project, all the relevant info, in the next video, which is already out. And yeah, uh, that is that. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys find it very useful. I am, again, extremely excited to get this out to you guys and hopefully see what you guys create. The Discord server, which is in the link in the description below, is, of course, open for you to join. I would love you to join. We have a dedicated thread specifically for this course where you can get feedback and share your renders and collaborate with other very skilled artists to develop maybe some of your own techniques based off of what I shared. That is it for me. Thank you very much again for tuning in. I will see you in the next videos.